In today's video, we've got a lot to go over, including the announcement of an epic PlayStation 4 RPG. I don't think a lot of people were seeing the announcement of Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines 2 coming, but it is coming and you guys should be very, very excited. I know a lot of you guys didn't play Vampire the Masquerade, but this sequel really comes from left field. However, it looks great and I am very excited for it and I want to get you guys up to speed with that game as it's just been announced. Also, PAX East is next weekend, and PlayStation will be there in full force, and they have put down their official rundown on what's going to be available at PAX East, what games we're going to see more of, and I want to take you guys through that. Even if you're not going to the event, a lot of gameplay is going to come out of PAX East. And again, we have the entire lineup available to us, and there's a lot of big titles that will be there. And lastly... We talked a lot about what's going on with Sega's Judgment. We thought that the game was going to be released on June 25th, and then everything went down with the one actor getting arrested in Japan that caused a lot of controversy surrounding the game. A lot of people were wondering, is the game still going to come to fruition over here in the West? The game's already been released in Japan, then it got pulled. But thankfully, Sega put out a tweet today, and it has been confirmed that Judgment is still arriving on June 25th, and I want to take a look at exactly what Sega said. More on that at the end of this video. First, let's talk all about Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines 2. This this is one that was completely out of left field, but man oh man am I excited for it. Now the first title was released a long time ago, all the way back in 2004 I believe if my memory is correct. It was received very well and was a new type of RPG experience that blended all the core elements of a traditional RPG with the graphical richness, immediacy, and brutal combat of a first person action game. At the time, it was pretty unique and of course we don't see a lot of excellent vampire games. Now of course last year we saw the release of Vampire and I thought that was a great game. However, in terms of budget, Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines 2 seems to be on another level and it's being developed by Hard Suit Lab and published by Paradox. And here's the rundown of the game. Sired in an act of vampire terrorism, your existence ignites the war for Seattle's blood trade. Enter uneasy alliances with the creatures who control the city and uncover the sprawling conspiracy which plunged Seattle into a bloody civil war between powerful vampire factions. The game touts that you can become the ultimate vampire, you can immerse yourself in the world of darkness and live out your vampire fantasy in a city filled with intriguing characters that react to your choices. You and your unique disciplines are a weapon in our forward-driving, fast-moving, melee-focused combat system. Your power will grow as you advance, but remember to uphold the masquerade and guard your humanity or face the consequences. Descend into Seattle's dark heart and survive the vampire elite. Seattle has always been run by vampires. Hunt your prey across Seattle's locations, faithfully reimagined in the world of darkness. Meet the old blood founders present since the city's birth and the new blood steering the tech money, redefining the city. Everyone has hidden agendas, so choose your allies wisely. You'll enter into these uneasy alliances. Choose a side among competing factions, each with their own unique traits and stories in the war for Seattle's blood trade. The world will judge you by the company you keep, but remember no one's hands stay clean forever. And last Lastly, do expect a great story written by the creative mind behind the original Bloodlines Vampire the Masquerade. Bloodlines 2 brings the ambitions of the first game to life and sees the return of a few fan favorite characters. I imagine, given that this game is coming out so long after the initial release, that this game will also be a good entry point for those of you just looking to get into the game. Being a direct sequel where a lot is carried over from the first game would be a little bit jarring, but I imagine elements from the first game will be carried over. Now, the game won't be released for a while. Currently, it's scheduled for a quarter 2020 release and with a release window that far away delays are something that can absolutely happen but this is a game to keep on your radar i'm telling you guys that if you're not interested in it this is a game that could end up surprising you right now pre-orders are open there's the base edition which is 59.99 then there's the vampire masquerade bloodlines 2 unsanctioned edition that is 69.99 and then there's also a blood moon edition and that is available for 89.99 so a hefty price point and unfortunately i'm not a big fan of this the deluxe edition and the premium edition do give you 24 hours of early access to the game. I never like that. I don't like when you are incentivized to pay more for a game just to play a game early. We just saw The Division 2 do that. But hey, that seems like something that's going to become more of a normality in games. The Blood Moon Edition will also feature the Season of the Wolf Season Pass that includes Story Pack 1, Story Pack 2, and another expansion. So they're already lining up DLC for the game. Again, not a fan of those business practices, but the game itself is shaping up to be really good. And already 2020's gaming lineup is shaping up, and Bloodlines 2 is one of those games to keep an eye on. Also, if you do pre-order the game, you get a First Blood pre-order pack, digital official soundtrack, engraved pistol weapon skin, retro hunter outfit, and the Civil War Saber weapon skin. So one of the more random announcements, I wasn't seeing this one coming, but definitely excited for that. 
Moving on from that, PAX East is of course next weekend and PlayStation will be there in full force and we've got the entire lineup of what's going to be available. The PlayStation blog has an in-depth post on PAX East and PlayStation's involvement with it, so I'll leave a link to that in the description box down below. But one of the featured games is of course Days Gone. We are just a month away from the release of that game on April 26th. And this year, they're offering you a chance to play the post-apocalyptic adventure thriller before its release. You'll also get to experience the world of Days Gone in real life as you encounter an 8-foot-tall ranger bear, pose for a picture on Deacon's bike, and even get a selfie with Deacon himself. Most exciting of all will be the pen of live freakers guarding the entrance of the Days Gone experience. Watch out or they might just get you. So if you're going to PAX East, it looks like Days Gone is one of the games they're putting a lot of promotional muscle behind, and that's good. Days Gone is one game that, because it's a new IP, it kind of needs that. So that's definitely a good play on Sony's part. Also, Media Molecule's next title in Dreams is going to be there, and fans can get an in-depth, hands-on preview time with the game, and you'll have PlayStation reps at your side every step of the way. Regular presentation by Dreams developers sharing special insight into the making of and inside details of the incredible game. There's also a contest for exclusive Dreams prizes for those that play the demo. MLB The Show 19 is going to be there. And the entire lineup to give you guys a quick rundown. Blood Roots, Control, Crash Team Racing, Nitro Fuel, Days Gone, Dragon Quest Builders 2, Dreams, Falcon Age, Heaven's Vault, Jupiter and Mars, Knights and Bikes, Layers of Fear 2, Luna, MLB The Show 19, Mortal Kombat 11, Mutant Zoan, Indivisible, Overland, Rad, Trover Saves the Universe, Watam, and those are the PS4 games. PlayStation VR will also be there. And from that, we have Ghost Giant, Golem, Falcon Age, Jupiter and Mars, Space Channel 5, VR, Trover Saves the Universe, and Vacation Simulator. All of those games will be at PAX East in one form or another, and I think Days Gone again gonna be that big game from Sony coming out of PAX East, and that game getting a promotional push ahead of its release just one month away. I think that's a great idea, and of course, you guys will have a chance to play the game if you guys go there. Imagine the line for Days Gone is gonna be pretty big, so that's gonna be a little bit of a bummer, but hey, they're showing off 27 different game titles on over 80 game stations, so a lot to digest with that. Speaking of PlayStation 4 games, a PlayStation 4 exclusive I was personally very much looking forward to was Judgment from Sega, done by the Yakuza team. That game was already released in Japan and it was received rather well over there. And it was said to be released over here in the West on June 25th. Unfortunately, one of the actors got arrested in Japan. Things went awry and we didn't know the status of the Western version of the game. Well, Sega gave us an update and thankfully the game will be released on June 25th, but with a little bit of an update. Here's what Sega tweeted out. Due to unforeseen circumstances, the character model and Japanese voice for the character of Kyohei Hamura will be adjusted for the Western release of Judgment launching on June 25th, 2019. Screenshots and trailers featuring Hamura have been temporarily removed from all of Sega's official channels. Updated versions of these materials will be made available at a later date. So surprisingly, the game is still gonna arrive June 25th. I guess they're gonna be able to update everything before that time and that's pretty surprising considering that's just three months away. So completely overhaul an element of a game like that, that's pretty surprising. However, I'm so excited for the game just because one character had to be replaced that is not going to deter my excitement for this game at all. I am still super stoked for this game. The Yakuza team deserves praise on the title, and it looks so good. And this is a game that could really help break through this series over here in the West. It's got English voiceovers from a technical standpoint. It is a substantial improvement on top of Yakuza 6, and I know... It's not a mainline Yakuza title, however, it looks to be a great game in its own right, and good to see it's still gonna be released on June 25th. And I think that date is perfect. It's really easing into that summer period where there's not a lot of big games being released, but Judgment can really have all the attention. And also, that's coming directly off of E3, so you just have heightened emotions when it comes to gaming, and gamers are gonna wanna check out a game like Judgment, and I do think it's gonna resonate really well over here in the States. As long as the translations are good, and even if you don't wanna play with English voiceovers, you're gonna have the option to play with subtitles and Japanese voiceovers, and for a lot of you guys that are longtime Yakuza fans, maybe that's how you want to play the game for that traditional experience, but if the series does want to expand, I think adding English voiceovers is a big element, and it's going to do the game wonders in terms of its mainstream recognition. But Disaster and Crisis has been averted. Judgment will be released on June 25th, so that is some great news. Just with the update of Kyohei Hamura's character model, that is going to be adjusted a little bit, so something to be aware of. And that's going to conclude this video. Again, Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines 2 has been announced. That'll be hitting the PS4 March 2020, a game to definitely keep on your radar, so be excited for that. The entire PAX East lineup from PlayStation has been highlighted. Days Gone is definitely going to be the major game coming out of that, especially because at this point, the game has gone gold, and what you're seeing is the game at its final stage. And lastly, Judgment will still be hitting the West on June 25th, 2019, so that is some great news. Thank God it wasn't cancelled. Disaster has been averted. We're still going to be able to play this game come June 25th. That's going to conclude this video. Sound off with all of your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching and goodbye.
Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.